How's it going everybody? My name's Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and no longer a full-time student actually. I was able to graduate yesterday, so I actually need some, some help. Go ahead and drop uh, suggestions down below for what my new intro should be. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have graduated. I'm going to be dumping some way more time into uh, making content, teaching you guys how to uh, be better at Amazon. Um, and specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, kind of how you can scale up from arbitrage, doing retail arbitrage, books, uh, online arbitrage even uh, to getting wholesale accounts with brands um, in my opinion as an Amazon seller you should always be kind of transitioning away from arbitrage and books and things that are more difficult to scale in favor of wholesale and private label uh, that's not to say that online arbitrage especially is not scalable I personally believe it is I'll probably be doing it for quite a while uh, just because you can do it from your computer there's some really nice deals especially during like Black Friday and stuff recently I don't see myself um, giving up on those but as you want to scale your Amazon business you're gonna need to be able to spend that money faster uh, and to be able to spend that money faster you'll just need to be able to buy in bigger bulk um, so that's where buying wholesale comes into play um, that's kind of the the gist of why you'd want to implement wholesale into your business so in this video I'm going to show you some specific steps for finding brands that you can contact and actually open wholesale accounts with them let's go ahead and jump into it So personally, my favorite way to find brands that will partner up with you to be able to sell their products on Amazon is just by searching through Amazon. Um, if you have seen some of my online arbitrage videos, you know I'm a big fan of reverse sourcing. Uh, this is the same approach I have for finding wholesale suppliers. Uh, so essentially, we're just going to um, start by finding a brand that is easy to open a wholesale account with. Um, and since you may have, you know, this might be your first uh, experiment with trying out wholesale, so you probably uh, don't have a, a starting point for that. So I'll go ahead and give you a starting point here. Uh, this brand is super easy to get a wholesale account with. Uh, their pricing is not profitable unless you could work out some crazy bulk deal with them. Um, but given the fact that there's so many people on here uh, that no one's been able to buy a significant amount, it probably means they're not going to be able to work with you on pricing. I think the wholesale pricing for this is 90 bucks, so it's like a 10% margin, not worth it. But the real magic in this is that it gives you a starting point. Um, we have this easy brand. Uh, it gives you a nice starting point to actually go ahead and uh, do that reverse sourcing. So from here, we're going to click on the other sellers on this list. Um, and I like to look for people with not a ton of ratings. Um, especially when you're first starting in wholesale, you're going to need to be focusing on those brands that are much easier to open wholesale accounts with. Um, and you can kind of infer that since these people don't have a lot of ratings, they're probably new to Amazon, which means it wasn't super hard for them to get these accounts. So this is going to be a great way for you to start getting brands to work with. So in this case, this these people have 80,000 ratings. Uh, I would not click on them because they probably sell all kinds of stuff. Um, 510 is a decent amount. We could check them out. Um, but really what I like to see is like this 15, uh, the 26. They probably only have a couple brands. And then that makes it a lot easier for us to kind of infer where they're, um, what brands they're working with. Um, so it looks like it looks like this account is probably doing a little bit of um, online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, hybrid with wholesale, uh, just because they're selling Crayola that, or they're working with a distributor, um, which in this case. Um, doing the distributor route does definitely work on Amazon um, but I've I have way more experience with the brand direct route so that's what I'm going to be showing you um, so we're essentially looking for brands that you've probably never heard of um, but are ranked decently well and Amazon's obviously not selling them because we don't want to compete with Amazon we're not going to get sales if Amazon's also on this listing so I'm seeing some products that Amazon is selling uh, with this extension right here this is DS Amazon quick view it's free um, and it's just a nice way to see if Amazon's on the listing um, we've got Hot Wheels but we're not getting a wholesale account directly with Hot Wheels Amazon's on this one there's that packed that brand we started from um, I'm not seeing a lot that I like on this uh, on this brand page um, we could could potentially contact this spider co brand but I, the spider co is a pretty big brand so uh, if you're a new seller you're probably not going to be able to get a wholesale account with them we can see how many sellers they have if they have quite a few sellers that means that they might be willing to open quite a few wholesale accounts see in this case they do have quite a few um, they have quite a few new offers so this actually could be a decent lead to go ahead and go ahead and try out um, I would bet that spider co probably doesn't offer um, good enough pricing just because they do have that brand notoriety um, but we can go ahead and I'll just go ahead and show you the process here uh, so we're making sure that Amazon is not on the listing um, they are a little bit but not enough that I'm super worried about Amazon being on this listing taking too many sales from us 
Um, it's just something you'd want to price into uh, the ROI and the margin. You'd probably want a little tiny bit of a bump since Amazon is on it every now and then, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, so at this point, we're gonna just try to find their website and see if they have like a contact page. Um, we're gonna go from there. Uh, I like to just send them an email first. Uh, most people, uh, a lot of people tell you to call them first. I like to send an email and then if they don't get back to me, then I'll try to call them. But I've opened several wholesale accounts with just an email uh, and that's a lot easier than hopping on the phone and stuff. So um, I like to set myself up to do as little work as possible. Uh, so here we've got a nice little contact form. Um, looks like just some blanket. Uh, they want your address, your email address. Um, it's kind of weird that they ask for your address. Usually they don't. Um, it looks like this is for like a, like a return or something. So you just say your name, your email, you drop like a, we want to open a wholesale account with you. Um, and then in the message, um, you can say whatever you want. Um, there's going to be some free wholesale contact scripts for you guys down below in the description. Uh, they're super simple, uh, but those are the scripts that I use when I'm contacting brands. Um, generally, when I'm contacting them, I'll just say um, something like, hello, um, I'm a retail store owner or I, I run a retail store um, and we want to partner with your brand to open a wholesale account. And you can go from there. Um, I don't like to open with we're an Amazon seller. Um, obviously, when you're talking with them, you want to make sure that it's clear on both parties that you're going to be selling the stuff on Amazon. Um, but they're getting so many emails like that. Um, it's nice to be able to hook their attention a little bit. Don't say your Amazon right off the bat. Um, and then later, uh, when you say we are selling on Amazon and here's how we can help you, um, that's how you're going to be able to add value because um, you know that they're already interested in talking with you. And then you can say, hey, we sell on Amazon. We want to grow your brand by um, running limited PPC campaigns. If they want to work with you on the margins for that, um, you can also offer to just monitor their listings, add any keywords or anything like that that might uh, in increase their sales on Amazon. Um, you could also offer to take new product images or something if it's a smaller brand and their images are really bad. I've personally never done that, but I know some people who have, and it's been a great value add for those brands for them to work with. Um, just a couple things to think about. Uh, when you're offering value to these brands, um, a lot of times they're getting you know tens if not hundreds of emails every day saying, hey, we want to sell your stuff on Amazon. Uh, you got to figure out a way to stand out. Um, so try to offer some value. Um, another another con another idea you can, you can try out is like a one page. Um, uh, this is um, something you've probably heard of before if you've done any research into wholesale. Um, so if they give you a rejection, uh, you can spend uh, you know 30 minutes or an hour um, doing the legwork to dive into one of their listings. Say, here's exactly the keywords that I, we think you should add. Um, we think that you're missing uh, this many sales. Here's this, this, this picture could improve, this graphic could improve. Uh, you just wanna show them that you're serious, you know how Amazon works, um, and just offer value, that because that's how you're gonna um, really get your foot in the door with these brands. So that's one method that you can use to go ahead and find those wholesale brands, just going through the storefronts of people with relatively easy to acquire wholesale brands. One other way that you can do this is, I like to use a tool that's called Jungle Scout. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. I use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Um, so I'll just look up a generic product um, that doesn't really have a strong dominating brand, so probably not like a like a deodorant has a lot of the you know uh, the lot of a lot a lot of big national brands. Um, so you're obviously not going to be getting wholesale accounts with like Dove and Secret and that kind of stuff. Um, but if you search for more generic products, um, in this case we're probably going to get a lot of private label products where um, someone contacted a manufacturer in China, created their own brand and listing on Amazon. But where Jungle Scout comes into play is we can activate this Chrome extension here and it's going to pull up a list of items um, and it's going to tell us who's actually selling those items. So what you can do is you can use the menu over here. Uh, so you can see here we've got all this big list of items here. It tells you what it sells for, how many they're, how many they're selling. I'll go ahead and put myself up here for now. Um, but you can actually go to the menu here. You can filter some results. Um, and you're going to want to filter the lowest sellers to two. Uh, because if it has two or more sellers, it's probably not going to be a private label product. Um, and then I also will only select FBA and FBM. And I don't select Amazon because those obviously uh, we're going to be competing with Amazon on. Uh, so we can go ahead and apply that. And now this list down here should just be a list of brands that could potentially be um, wholesale companies that we could work with. 
Um, I don't know if knee brace is a good example or not, um, but just think about things that you use every day. Um, search that into Amazon, see if there's a dominating brand here. Uh, so we can go ahead and click on a couple of these and see if these might be good leads for um, a potential wholesale product. Uh, it looks like we've got this brand called Modvel. I've never heard of them. Um, so it could be private label, but there's a lot of, okay. So the, there was just some weird um, glitching. The Both of my Chrome extensions said it had 11, but really it only has one seller. Um, so we're just gonna be going through this list. This only has two sellers. Um, this only has one seller. So maybe not the, the best example of a product. Um, I think an example of something I've used in the past was a bird feeder. Um, so you would do the same thing. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and run the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, and it's pretty easy to kind of figure out good niches to be in uh, using this extension. Um, if you're finding a lot of Amazon and a lot of brands that are um, private label dominating the space, it's probably not a great space to jump in as far as doing wholesale. So again, we're going to put in two for lowest sellers, FBA and FBM. Um, we're going to go ahead and apply that. And I believe we found some decent ones um, last time I went through this a while back. Um, so it's, it's taking a second to load here if it shows up. All right, so I got it to load in here. Um, so again, we're just going to go ahead and click through these products that have more than two or so sellers, uh, meaning that it's probably not going to be a private label product. So I also found this one here using that method. Uh, it looks like a fairly standard little bird feeder here. Amazon hasn't been on it uh, for a very long time, if ever. Uh, it looks like they used to be on it a long time ago, but haven't been for over a year. Um, I'm seeing five sellers, which is nice. Um, that means that they're opening wholesale accounts with a couple different people. Um, we've got five sellers on here. We could see how many ratings they have to see how hard this wholesale account would be to get. Looks like most of them have quite a few ratings, um, except for this one right here. Um, they only have 46 ratings. So sounds like if you had maybe a good value prop, it could be a good way to get um, a, maybe a more difficult wholesale account. Um, but just wanted to show off a, a little bit of a different way uh, to actually find some of these brands to work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did get value out of it, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, add value to my business. And let's make it kind of a trade here. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to drop those down below. I'm always happy to answer those. And if you're a new Amazon seller interested in getting plugged into a community, we have a free Amazon seller discord of over 11,000 people. That's also linked down below. But I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.